Hey guys, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. This is Lane and this is Logan. Y'all know that, Logan, of course, Logan is in our class. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, she's in pre-K. She's in my class too. Lane is in first grade. So they're going to help us today um, to do something fun. So um, our kids love calendar time. They love um, having a sense of what's going on around them. They love learning about the days of the week, months of the year. Um, and there's so many academic skills that can be incorporated into calendar time. So we don't have a calendar in our cool virtual classroom. So today we're gonna create um, an at-home calendar so that the kids can have that to look forward to every day. And we can draw icons on the calendar to kind of help us um, see what's gonna happen uh, that day and the days ahead. Okay, so I brought some chart paper home from school, but you don't have to make it this big. You don't have to use chart paper. You can use any kind of paper. It can be big or small. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna draw the grid um, outline so that they can start filling in the numbers and such for the calendar. All right, so I did the grid to make it look like a calendar. And Lane wrote all the days of the week. Awesome. All right, so now it's Logan's turn. Come on, Logan. It's your turn to write the month of the year. All right, what month are we in? March. March. Okay, so let's write the word March. M. Yeah, we messed up on that line. We'll just, we'll X that out later. A. R. C. H. Awesome. And on our calendar at school, we have a clover to represent March. So let's see if Logan can draw a clover. You think you can draw a little clover? Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to get Lane, since he's older, I'm going to get him to write the numbers on the calendar to represent can each day. Can I draw day. a little bit? Yeah, you numbers. can do some too. Yeah. Okay, so today is the 18th. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to stop at 18 because every day we're going to write the date on the square. That's going to be our thing. We're going to count and then we're going to write the date. Usually on our calendar at school we have a card and we flip it over, but we don't have that. So now we're just going to write it each day. Also at school, our calendar has a pattern. So I'm going to let my kids think of a pattern and then every day we'll add to the pattern. Okay, so... For their pattern, they wanted to do um, clovers and coins, gold coins, because that that represents St. Patrick's Day. But we um, that would take a really long time to draw all that. So we decided to collect clovers outside and then collect some coins. They decided on pennies. So we have Lane outside collecting clovers for our calendar pattern. And we have Logan inside collecting coins for our calendar pattern. We want our pattern to be clover, penny, clover, penny, clover, penny. And it's just going to repeat all the way um, to the end of the calendar. And every day we'll add to our calendar. So they're making a clover, penny pattern. And we're going to tape it on there so that it stays. So, Logan wants to draw a birthday cake on this day because she knows that's when her friend Kylie's birthday is. And then Grant's birthday is this day. We can draw something for Grant. And we're also just going to add any special things that we might do or things that we are going to look forward to um, in the coming days while we're at home. That's a cupcake. As you can see... We have a March 2020 calendar. We have numbers. We're going to add a number each day as we count. We have a pattern that we are going to continue through the end of March. Um, we have some special things that we have planned, um, like we're going to have brownies. We're going to paint. We're going to barbecue. We're going to make slime, celebrate Kylie's birthday. Well, call Kylie for her birthday. Call Grant. Uh, April begins. But we can also add things uh, for the kids to look forward to as the month goes on. All right, count and let's see what date do we think is going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. What comes after eighteen? 19. 19. So we'll have to write a number 19. 